My name is Jack Sovic. I am with the Austin Town Growth Foundation. The purpose of the foundation is to enhance the public concept of Austin Town Township and improve the residential and business community while also promoting our local schools. One of the missions of the Growth Foundation is to help Austin Town residents gain additional awareness of local candidates and issues. I am proud to announce that the Austin Town Growth Foundation, along with the Falcon Media, formerly Austin Town Community Television, will again bring you Candidates and Issues Forum the next few weeks over this channel, the Falcon Media. The format of this is very simple. All candidates running for office, be the township fiscal officer or trustee, were sent letters on October 1st notifying them of this forum. They were asked to call the Falcon Media office and schedule a taping time. If they agreed to participate, they were given a time to come down to the media center where they were given 10 minutes to talk about whatever they wanted to talk about involving their candidacy, as long as the content was not offensive or derogatory against other candidates. The Falcon Media will then air the tapings with the others at various times during the broadcast day until Election Day. The Austin Town Growth Foundation would like to thank the Austin Town Schools, the Falcon Media, particularly Mrs. Gina Cardillo, General Manager, and her staff for all their help in bringing this to you the residents of Austin Town. I would like to thank the residents of Austin Town for in advance for watching these forums and for voting in the election. Please, I encourage all Austin Town residents or owners of businesses in Austin Town to consider joining the Austin Town Growth Foundation. We meet the second Tuesday of each month, 7 p.m. During the summer months, we do not meet, and that is at the Wedgwood Pizza Shop on Raccoon Road. Please get out and vote, and thank you very much for watching these forums. Hello, my name is Bruce Sheppis, and I'm running for Austintown trustee. I am a lifelong resident of Austintown and have been married to my wife, Lisa, for almost 11 years. I have two daughters, Talia and Alexandria. I have worked in law enforcement for the past 25 years starting with the Mahoney County Sheriff's Office, and for the last 19 years, been employed by the Federal Bureau of Prisons. I'm eligible for retirement in three years. I am co-owner of Austintown Bounce Indoor Play Center and Rentals, which was established in 2007. Our local business has supported this community for 12 years. We sponsor, donate, and contribute to this community more than you can imagine. My intention is not to boast about what we do for this community, However, I want every voter to know how involved and committed I am to this township. Austin Town Bound sponsors Austin Town Girls Softball, which I enjoy coaching with, Junior Soccer, Community Baseball, Fitch Football, and numerous other Fitch Athletics along with community, school clubs, and groups. We are proud sponsors of Youngstown State Football, YSU Men's and Women's basketball, the Mahoning Valley Scrappers, the Youngstown Phantoms Hockey, and many other local organizations and schools and community events. Personally, I volunteer many hours a month in several positions of which I was appointed to by the Austin Town Township Trustees and a few other groups I choose to be part of. There is no other candidate that personally or through business puts in the time and money that I do for Austin Town. For example, I was appointed to the Austin Town Zoning Commission and thoroughly enjoy helping new businesses, taxpayers, and commercial property, properties rezone. I assist in new and old business development in order to make changes within our community. A few years ago, I was appointed to chairman of the Austin Town Fourth of July Parade. This was a big challenge for me. I moved the ancient 2 p.m. start time to noon so that everyone could get to their family barbecues and 4th of July celebrations sooner. After doing so, Front Page News wrote about the parade participation growing to record numbers, and spectators attendance was the most ever, according to our fire chief. 
I received nothing but high praise at the subsequent public trustee meeting by the sitting trustees at the time, Mr. Carano, Mr. Davis, and former trustee, Pastor Stoffer. Social media was flooded with positive comments about the new start time, the size, and direction we were headed with the parade for years to come. I am an executive board member for the 4th of July Fireworks and Celebration Committee. I enjoy the challenge, along with the trustees, in coming up with new ideas for the fireworks party on the plaza, new ideas, and bringing in vendors and bands are lining up to participate now. We had 8,000 people in attendance for our 2019 4th of July celebration. I sit on the Austin Town Night Out Committee and strive to increase vendors and attendance at this event located at Township Park. It's a fun, family-friendly evening for everyone to come out and enjoy. I am the treasurer of the Mahoning Valley Fraternal Order of Police, Lodge Number 193, in which I handle all the finances of the lodge and I look forward to continuing to help my local brothers and sisters for many years to come. Also, I want to mention, at this time, I am the only Fraternal Order of Police endorsed candidate in this race. I am very honored that Lodge Number 193 is proud to endorse me for Township Trustee. In closing, I believe being a local business owner and serving on all the boards and committees I've just mentioned gives me a huge advantage, as well as the experience and knowledge of the inner workings of Austin Town Township, along with the numerous departments within, such as the police, the fire, parks, zoning, road, fiscal, and our great senior center. This will only enhance my ability to serve as an Austin Town trustee for you and our community. Visit BruceShepis.com, follow me on Facebook for up-to-date um, things I'm doing throughout the community. And also, please vote Bruce Shepis, Austin Town Trustee. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is David Engler. I'm a candidate for Austin Town Township Trustee, which is an election that's going to be held November 5th, 2019. So just in a, a couple short weeks or a few short days, the election for Township Trustee, the open seat, is going to be held. There will be uh, no incumbent in this race, so it's myself and three other candidates running against each, against each other. Um, a little bit about my background. I, I've been in the studio before because I'm a graduate of 1978 Austintown Fitch High School, which is where I say I got my political start back in the 70s because we graduated with these enormous classes of 809 people, started off with myself and my classmates back in 19. Uh, 74 when we were first freshmen. Uh, this, this building was relatively new at the time, uh, but I, I ran for class president. First it was class treasurer, then it was class president, um, and, and that was very exciting to me. And it was, I think that sort of set the, the, the basis for my, my interest, my uh, love of uh, having organizations help other people. Um, some of my old friends said that it goes back even further to middle school where I went to Frank Ole when Frank Ole was standing, where we were organizing uh, the orange uh, drink to be available for students who were uh, lactose intolerant. So maybe that was my first organizational effort was to get uh, something other than milk served for students back in uh, the lunch period. But so I graduated in 1978 from Austin Town Fitch High School. When my family first moved here, back, geez, it had been like 1969, we lived in the townhomes and the apartments on New Road. It was called Fountain Square. And that's where my brother Bill and I uh, had a paper route and the four Engler children and my mom and dad lived in that 4160 New Road for a number of years. And we had great fun um, delivering newspapers and playing with like, the what appeared to be thousands of kids in that Fountain Square development. And, and it was just an, a tremendous childhood growing up in, in Austin Town. Um, then you could walk up to the Wedgwood Plaza, which was you know, very new at the time. And there was the bowling lanes, there was the movie theaters, there was the, a huge department store, a grocery store across the street, a five and dime, 
Western Auto, which was like a hardware store that was in that neighborhood. And of course, uh, it was when I first had a piece of Wedgwood Pizza, which became part of the basic food groups for the Engler family uh, throughout our entire lifetimes for all of us. And, and our family is no different than any other family. When anyone, any of us would come back from out of town, that's the first thing we'd do for a Friday night is order a Wedgwood Pizza to serve the uh, Engler family. Um, but the, from New Road, then we moved over to Slust Circle, which is off of Nottingham. And uh, that was also a great neighborhood. We had tremendous neighbors, my, my closest friends, the Larsons, uh, Phil Lee, uh, Josephs, Holzels, uh, the Gumps who lived next door to us, the Tones lived across the street. It was, just all, it was all about neighborhood. It was all about people really caring about each other in those neighborhoods. And it was a beautiful thing. And uh, then we fast forward to where I'm living now, which is the... I believe it's the old Berkey farmhouse on the corner of Berkey and Meridian. It's a home that was uh, dilapidated and I invested money in it and, and took it over and uh, paid off most of the back taxes that were owed on it, uh, put it back into serviceable use, uh, invested probably thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 into the uh, house itself. So it's a, it's a really cool house, but it, it was there when the, the entire uh, west side of Austin Town, or it was like the west side of Youngstown at that time, was a, a huge farmland. Um, but I'm running for trustee because I think I can make a difference. I think I can really uh, use the, the skills that I've developed over time, both as a lawyer for 34 years, as a former county commissioner, as someone who's been involved in, in very large projects like starting 911 or curbside recycling, overseeing building two different jails in the county. And then for the last 20 years, I've been on the Mahoning County Board of Education, which is called the Educational Service Center Board, and also the Mahoning County Career and Technical Center, where many of our Fitch students attend. Uh, and that school has had a complete turnaround in terms of the number of students that we serve, uh, the strength of our curriculum. Uh, we have an incredible staff at the Career Center. We have an amazing team at the Educational Service Center. We provide educational services, uh, services to all the different um, uh, school districts throughout the area. When I first started, there was only 14 districts that we served. We've now tripled that. We're into the 30s, uh, the number of customers that we take care of. All, by the way, without ever raising taxes. And that's the one thing that I'm promising the, the people of Austintown, you're not going to have your taxes raised. We are at an absolute crossroad. Uh, and that crossroad in Austintown is that we've taken a tremendous blow with the closing of Lordstown GM. Uh, many of those residents uh, of, of Austintown themselves have now moved to Toledo in, in Texas in uh, Tennessee uh, following the jobs that General Motors had. And all the suppliers that come with General Motors, the comprehensive logistics, Falcon Transport, um, all of those entities also have closed down. So it's a it's this huge ripple effect that affects us economically. And so we have a, a shrinking tax base. Um, and our population is older. Most of the, the people in Austin Town, the, the voters are, are definitely over 50 years of age. And with that shrinking tax base, you know, or older actually retirement age, um, how do we generate money that is going to support uh, Austin Town Township? Uh, less people, less jobs, uh, less resources in terms of finances to support. So we had to be very careful what we do going forward, that we, we deliver our services effectively and efficiently. That's the key, effectively and efficiently. And I have to treat every single customer, uh, taxpayer, resident out there like a client, like they'd be my own client at my law office where I would get the job done, fix the problem, and let them know if they call in or they write in or they email in that we're going to take care of them. And speaking about emailing in or using technology, I would like to see in Austin Town Township that we tackle a project that I call AFI, where we have a Wi-Fi or a Li-Fi total network that puts everyone in Austin Town Township collectively together on a high-speed internet basis so that we can break the Armstrong monopoly that's really keeping our prices artificially high for the high-speed wireless internet that most of us are using in our homes or trying to use in our homes. So I'd like to tackle that problem. 
I'm also going to announce that I'm going to create a Austin Town 2020 committee along with my fellow township trustees. And we're going to put people on that committee and we're going to itemize and prioritize the issues and problems facing Austin Town. And that's the easy part is to show what's wrong. But the difficult part is going to say, how do we prioritize them? What problems are first? Is it the dilapidated buildings in Wedgwood or, or some of the, the eyesores on Lower Mahoning Avenue or the entranceway into um, 46 and Route 80? But we're going to prioritize that and then come up with plans as to how you turn that around. And you do that with uh, tax financing. You do that with state grants, local grants, federal grants. Uh, we can do it. I, I've done it before in my past. Like I said, uh, part of my passion is being able to bring people together, putting the right people into the right jobs, and then running a very efficient government operation. I've done that 34 years as an attorney. I also have been a CEO and cur currently still am a CEO of a technology company that provides software to the guardianship and the fiduciary industry. But I'd like to bring those skill sets to Austintown and, and help the community that basically raised me. I mean, I'm nothing except a product of Austintown, Ohio. We're all from the same uh, pot of soup, if you will. I mean, we come from the same, basically, economic background. We come from the same shared life experiences. Uh, and Austintown, first and foremost, is known as a place where the students of Austintown get a quality education. We are completely wrapped together. The identity of Austintown is wrapped with the identity of the Austintown school system. So the trustee has to work hand in hand with the school system to make sure we're moving ahead as a community. Um, I truly believe we can make Austintown a fantastic place, a place that people are willing to move to. I'd like to see our property values increase because people are moving in, and it's a place where people are known to get great quality services from their government. But I'm just asking you, I, I'd like this opportunity to serve you. This is something I like doing. This is something I know how to do. And, and I want to serve people. I want to give back to the community that's been so good to me for all these years. So thank you, David Engler on November 5th. Hi, I'm Steve Kent. I'm running for Austin Town Trustee November 5th. I want to thank the Austin Town Local Schools and Channel 19 for inviting all the candidates out to introduce them to the community. I'm a lifelong resident of Austintown. I graduated Fitch High School in 1988. My wife, Alicia, graduated in 1989, who is an RN at Mercy Health. We have three wonderful children, Christina, who's in eighth grade at AMS, Connor, who's in 10th grade at Fitch High School. Kyle's 21. He passed away last November from a fatal car accident. The Austintown community and others support us in that time. I wanted to say thank you. I graduated Youngstown State University in the Police Academy in 2005 with my degree in Criminal Justice Administration. I worked for Goshen Township, Mahoney County Sheriff's Office, and I currently employed with Poland Township Police Department. I'm assigned to the Poland District School Resource Officer position and the OVI Task Force. I have been a coach for our youth football for over 20 years with the Austintown Colts, where I held a vice presidency seat, the Austintown Little Falcons. I've also assisted coaching at Austintown Community Baseball, Austintown Community Softball. I've been an active member of my church as a youth leader and now ordained as a deacon. On November 5th, I believe I am the prime candidate for so many reasons. My goals are to bring growth to the Austintown community through new business and supporting our existing businesses. I support new roles on cleaning up Austintown. I will support our school system, our police department, and our fire department. I will work hard with the township officials in making the right choices for the Austin community. Hello, my name is Laura Wolf. I would like to talk to you about how you can keep Austin Town moving forward in the right direction. 
As some of you may already know, I am running for re-election as your Township Fiscal Officer. I'm proud to say that since obtaining this position, I have worked tirelessly to not only balance our budget, but also to make our finances transparent and open to all. I'm here today because I want to continue serving my hometown with the highest of standards. I'm a lifelong resident of Austintown. I graduated from Fitch in 1987. From there, I went on to attend YSU, where I graduated in 1991 with a bachelor's degree in business administration. I majored in accounting and minored in both finance and economics. I'm currently employed full-time at St. Joseph Church on New Road in Austintown. In addition to my daily responsibilities there as the parish secretary, I also volunteer as a member of the parish finance committee. In addition to my full-time work, I am grateful for the opportunity to serve my local community as well as to be an active participant in Austintown Township. I'm a member of the Austintown Kiwanis Club, which is a big supporter of the youth in our area. I was originally hired by the township in 1992 to be the accountant for the fiscal officer. I was responsible for day-to-day -day accounting, payroll, and human resources. I maintained the ledgers and financial documents required by governmental accounting. I worked closely with the fiscal officer full-time for 15 years and then part-time as needed. In January of 2012, I interviewed for the fiscal officer appointment to complete the term ending March 31, 2012. This position was vacated by the prior fiscal officer. I received that appointment and went on to win the election in November of 2013. I'm proud to say that in my seven years as fiscal officer, I have been able to keep the township's budget balanced. I work with the state auditor's office as well as many neighboring communities. I'm trained on the Uniform Accounting Network, the software system used by Austintown Township. This system requires extensive knowledge of governmental fund accounting. The township receives grants that provide extra support to our various departments. Some grants help with purchasing machinery and equipment, while others provide additional money for wages that support our safety services. I have to account for the grant receipts and expenditures and include them in the township budget. I make sure that the funds are received and distributed appropriately. The police department receives grant funding for the D.A.R.E. program. This program works in the school system to educate children on the dangers of alcohol and drugs. It also teaches them how to deal with bullying and other real life situations. We receive COPS grants which supplement the wages of new full-time police officers. We have received grants for the purchase of computer equipment for vehicles and bulletproof vests. The fire department is using SAFER grants to help supplement the fire wages. Over the years, they have also been able to purchase trucks and turnout gear with grant money. The park department has been the recipient of many equipment grants over the years. The Senior Center has also received different grants that have benefited the Center. The Township is always looking for ways to improve the services it offers to residents. Each department is a separate fund with its own budget. These funds are very restrictive when it comes to spending. Knowing the rules of expenditures helps me maintain control over spending. The experience and knowledge that I have acquired over the years should give the township a sense of security that tax money is being spent in the most effective manner. The fiscal officer is responsible for completing and submitting the certificate of resources to the county auditor. This report lays out the township's receipts and appropriations for the year. If the township changes these numbers, the certificate must be amended to comply with the Ohio Revised Code requirements. This certificate is scrutinized by the state auditor during our audits. In addition to my daily responsibilities as the fiscal officer, it is also imperative that I do my very best to maintain continuing education. I believe training and education do not end once someone is hired. 
it is an ongoing requirement to maintain proficiency. I utilize every resource I have available to practice a good work ethic. I've attended several seminars and workshops and have worked closely with the department heads, trustees, and administrator to know the needs of the township. The Board of Trustees is a three-member board that makes decisions for the direction the township is going to take. Although I am elected separately and do not have a vote in decision making, I am the only one who can certify that funds are available to spend because I'm responsible for preparing and maintaining the budget throughout the year. The State Auditor's Office performs financial audits as a check and balance on how the township is following the rules of governmental accounting. Every two years, the state auditors conduct extensive testing of both financial reports and internal controls. I'm proud to say that no matter what unexpected expenses may come up, Austin Town Township's budget has always come out balanced. Yes, our community continues to live within its means. Even though the local governments received from the state have been drastically reduced over the last handful of years. Residents have been supportive of the township and have passed several levies for safety services as well as a senior levy. The passing of these levies helps to free up money from the general fund so that the township continue to go above and beyond in the services that are offered to residents. Throughout my term, we have obtained the resources to make improvements to the splash pad, dog parks, and playground for our community to enjoy. The Austin Town Senior Center continues to thrive and residents are enjoying programs offered to them. We have been able to hire, promote, and retire numerous employees throughout my tenure. My plan to keep Austin Town moving forward is to work diligently to maintain the township's $14.5 million balanced budget. In addition, I will continue to search for grant opportunities to meet the ever-changing needs of our home here in Austin Town. I want to keep the township running efficiently and effectively to make the most of the levy dollars the township receives. This is why I'm asking for your support for re-election as Austin Town Township's fiscal officer. I trust you can tell from my experience that my hometown is very important to me. This truly is a job that I have learned from the ground up. Governmental fund accounting is not private sector accounting. It requires the specialized knowledge that I have worked to obtain. I understand the responsibilities of the position. I promise you that I will continue to work hard to keep your tax dollars working for Austin Town Township. Let's stand together in November and keep Austin Town moving forward in the right direction. Hello, my name is John Mashiska. I am running for the Office of Township Fiscal Officer. I am a proud lifelong resident of Austin Town. I am 62 years old and have a 21 year old son, Dominic, who graduated from Austin Town Fitch. My extended family also lives in Austin Town. I was fortunate enough to grow up on Kleber Avenue and attended Lloyd Davis Elementary, Austin Town Middle School, and Austin Town Fitch High School. I graduated from Fitch in 1975. I then went on to Youngstown State University and graduated in 1991 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration. I majored in accounting. Throughout my college years, I worked at Youngstown Steel Door and Inner Circle Pizza downtown. I started working for the state of Ohio as an auditor manager in the auditor's office in 1982. I was an auditor for 31 years before retiring in, 19, in 2013. I am also a lifelong member of Immaculate Heart of Mary Church. I am involved in many community committees, including Knights of Columbus, Parish Council, Parish Finance, Food Pantry, and Bocce League. I also work part-time at the Parish Center. My hobbies include playing bocce, bowling, attending sporting events, and volunteering at the church. I believe it is important for me to give back to my community. 
I have been part of the Sunshine Benefit Golf Outing for cancer patients for 15 years. I am also a member of the Austintown Fitch Hall of Fame Committee as well as the Austintown Rotary Club. My background in auditing and accounting make it possible for me to help with the finances, financial part of these organizations. I am running for the Township Fiscal Officer because I would like to be the voice of the taxpayers. I want Austin Town to be a better place to live and to balance the township budget. I will hold monthly budget meetings to, account, to account, accomplish this. I want transparency in all the financial aspects of the township. I will hold regular working hours every day and as needed in the evening, even though this is not required by the definition of this position. I want the people of, us, of the township to be able to reach me by calling the township or my cell phone. I believe open communication is the key to our township thriving and growing within a balanced budget. 31 years as a state auditor and audit manager. I was in charge of the audit team, preparing the reports, and proceeding, pre presenting the audit to my supervisor. Learning current tax laws to, the, to file about 40 income tax returns each year, I do this because I enjoy knowing the new tax laws and regulations. Treasurer of the Sunshine Benefit for 16 years. Treasurer of the Bowling League for 10 years. I was responsible for paying bills, writing contracts, balancing budgets for the IHM Parish Center. I feel that I have the experience and knowledge to be, the, to be an excellent township fiscal officer and would appreciate your vote on November 5th. Thank you for your time and go Falcons! in association with Austin Town Local Schools and Austin Town Township.